Hello and welcome back. Uh, it's me. Uh, thanks for being here. Thanks for following. How lost are you? When I was in high school, how can I say this? We had a party and we had two gyms. We had a girls gym. We had a boys gym. Um, we were pretty big. And we were having some sort of party in the girls' gym. And it was at night. And I was looking for somebody. Well, unbeknownst to me, oh my gosh, I remember who was recording. Because um, he edited it. And, and, he, and I did not know there was anyone, anyone recording me. And I kept walking back and forth and back and forth and around and I was and I don't re remember who I was looking for it was like 30 years ago and uh, and then come fast forward to near the end of my senior year we sh they played us a video of all the things that had gone through uh, through the years uh, or through that year that one of our teachers had recorded and he edited and put it together and you know this was the early 90s so it wasn't like the technology we have today but it was done very well and then at one point you see me walking back and forth not knowing where I was going or doing and everybody just just was just laughing and they were laughing at me on the screen and my best friend was next to me and he's like, and he was laughing. Then he turned to look at me and like, uh-oh, what is he going to do? And I just, at first I was, I didn't know what to think. <laughs> and then I realized just how funny it was and I started laughing too. And then my best friend, I'll just call him Jeff, who was next to me. He, <laughs> he was like, whoo, good. You know, he really thought I was going to be offended because everybody was laughing at me. And, and I remember some thoughts that went through my head as I'm watching this. And I'm thinking, when was that? How did he record me at that point? I don't remember anybody being there, much less with a camera. And the cameras back then were over the shoulder big things um, and, and I just had to laugh I'm th and, 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 and I just laughed along with everybody else and it is important to be able to laugh at yourself at your own expense because that is what humor is all about and we are, we're missing some of that if you can't laugh at yourself to, laugh at yourself who can you laugh at but there's another thing here. Today is Easter Sunday. I'm all alone. <laughs> and it's hard to say this without getting emotional. It is complicated. I'm not going to tell you everything. But yes, my, my ring is not on my finger. It's on my chain, next to my cross. And my cross is in here too. I, I can feel it, uh, I'm chugging myself. Um, and I got this cross when I was 16 from my mother. And it is gold or gold plated. And when I, you know, if you look at a lot of my old videos and I was sitting in the floor trying to explain the Bible with a game behind me, I was fat, you know. Well, and then when I be, be, found out I was diabetic and took all these medications, it was purging the sugar out of my system. I was going to the bathroom a lot, uh, and I had some problems at night, too. Um, I had, you know, changed my diet, was taking all this medication, and I lost about 100 pounds. I went from like 280 to 176 or 175, and I looked sickly. I didn't look right and so I have gained some weight I, 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 I got over about 206 and, and now I'm, I'm, I'm 
I'm really maintaining my, my weight around 200. So I feel a little healthier. I look a lot healthier. I probably got a little bit of a, still a bit of a stomach, but not as big as I was when I was 280, okay? Um, so there's that. And I couldn't fit my ring on my finger anymore because it was too big and I can't find anywhere to, to, to resize it. So um, and instead of just trying to keep up with my ring, which is what I was doing a lot, I'm like, I'm gonna just put it on my chain next to my cross as a showing of my faith. And so there, there's a bit of a marriage there too. And I don't know if my wife sees that or not. But as I sit here alone after church on an Easter Sunday, 2023, I still feel lost. I have, Jesus has found me. I am saved before him. But I feel like the rest of my family is also still lost. For a while, I was eternally lost. So one of my family is eternally lost. All the knowledge in the palm of their hand. All the knowledge to be able to tell me how wrong I am and to teach me everything that I've forgotten and to make sure I'm put in my place. But this person is spiritually, right now, eternally lost. You made complications worse, not really worse, for the, and better. That person is at a church right now. My family has is splitting up. We need prayers. But Jesus is always searching for you. He's always trying to get our attention. Through signs, through maybe certain music, through friends, through family members, through events, through things that are around us that are going on. Um, and so while I might still look lost sometimes, like in the middle of an empty parking lot with a closed grocery store because it's Easter Sunday, I am not spiritually lost. With my family, it is complicated. I'm not going to explain it all. But we're better off than I'm letting on. We are very blessed. And it's with thanks to God that we are this blessed. Two beautiful kids, two very smart kids. Even with with some of the thorns in their life that get in their way, they are making their way through those thorns. And slowly but surely, they are getting on the right path, I think. I can only pray for that and help to direct them when I can. Now, I will admit, one of my kids was, was feeling ill this morning. I wasn't feeling that good. And I was, as much as I was trying to get them to go to church with me, um, didn't realize that he, one of my kids wasn't feeling all that great. He just didn't communicate that. Just stayed in bed. And I, I didn't get mad. I just like, well, I'm all dressed and nowhere to go. And the other adult in the room is still wearing a bathrobe. Like, okay. And even though I'd already watched and heard the service on my phone for the first service, I almost went to another church. I almost I was like, well, let me just drive down, see the, the service hours of other churches around us, and maybe just 
hit somewhere else, but I didn't. I went I went to my what I consider my home church. And it was still very good and still and, and it was very emotional being there as opposed to sitting on your couch and watching it on TV and streaming it. Especially when the musician sang his solo at the very end, which got me very emotional. Um, so how lost are you? Are you missing all the cues? Just as in, 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 in any relationship between a husband and a wife, are you missing the cues of Jesus or your Lord trying to get your attention? Are, are you so putting yourself so much above him that you, you're not hearing him at all? Or, or are you ignoring the call to go worship with other people in worship together as a family of God together as sons and daughters of the Lord that is my question to y'all so you know Matthew Matthew, Matthew 18 11 for the son of man has come to save that which was lost funny this is in past tense as if we're no longer lost what do you think if any man has a hundred sheep that one of them has gone astray does he not leave the 99 on the mountain and go and search for the one that is strayed if it turns out he finds it truly truly I say to you he rejoices it more than, than over the 99 which have not gone astray So he is looking for us. So you can be like me when, I, as a senior in high school, looking very lost. You may not look like you're lost, but are you spiritually? For Jesus died for our sins and was resurrected. And without that resurrection, our faith would have no foundation. For it says in 1 Corinthians 15, 17, and if Christ has not been raised, your faith is worthless. You were still in your sins. Because it was thanks to the Lord, our debt has been paid through, uh, through his death and his resurrection. It took, it takes both of these things to happen for us not to be in debt to our sins. then it is the foundation of our faith. Again, I asked, I ask, are you lost? Do you not believe this? Do you not believe if Ron Wyatt really found Golgotha in the place where Jesus had been crucified, then they did, they did not push him up with him laying on the cross for it to be go down in the hole. They were pushing him up as he was hanging down off the cross after being nailed to it naked. Because there was a, a, a rock relief behind possibly help keeping up the three crosses of the people that were being crucified there. It's something to think about. And, I'll, and, and I'm going to look through YouTube again and find that location before it was altered. 
and put that up here for you. Because if it, this is where Jesus was crucified, then they pushed him up with him hanging from, hanging down from the cross, not hanging on the cross, being pushed up. He was being pushed up possibly from the other direction. How excruciating pain could that be? So with that happy thought, rejoice that he died and forgave our sins. Rejoice in the Lord, for he is our Savior. Rejoice that he was resurrected and came back to lead the apostles to search out the lost as he continues to search for you through everyone around you. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. I've done this video with a heavy heart. And if I didn't love other people, I wouldn't be making these videos for 10 years. If I didn't love my audience, if I didn't love you as he loves me and he loves you, This is my mountain. As I try to convince whoever you are that you are loved, that God is real, Jesus is real, that he was born, he died, he forgave our debt to sin, was resurrected, and he, li he still lives today. Praise be to God. Thanks to God for the reading of his word today. We'll see you next time. And as always, shalom and amen. Praise be to God. Happy Easter.